scoot back in my chair a little bit, get this viewpoint better. Well, let's see how she does. She's turbo, so I think we'll make it. We're nice and light. Whoa! Yeah, I think we're gonna make it. Guacamole. Nice. She's got she's got a little aerobatics in her. What airplane did you go with, Chris? I was going to say, I'm going to have to slow it up a little bit. I think you went with the Comanche. Which I'm not sure what the cruise speed is on that. Let me know and I'll try to I'll try to accommodate for whatever you're cruising at. Get some fresh air in the cockpit. Hey, I see you over there, Chris. A couple people, maybe. Is that more than one person? Somebody in a cub. Shows you in a J3 cub on my side, Chris. Let me fix that. What would be a good substitution for a Comanche? One seventy two. Are you switching? Okay, I'll wait till you switch. Oh, you jump back in the F-18? <laughs> I see how it is. Well, we'll kick her in the butt then. We'll take off. Kinda like this plane so far. So far at least. Even has anti ice, pedo heat, and a de ice switch. Looks like we're gonna need that pedo heat on. It is chilly. Coming up on more city stuff. It looks like this plane has everything you would need to do IFR if you needed to. You could dial in the radios and all that good stuff. It's got the autopilot. 
glide slope would even show up on here. I just noticed this has a radar altitude gauge in there. It's pretty slick. Doesn't have a prop control. It's just uh, does have reversers. not see anything fun that I can pull on or anything. Can hold a couple passengers. They don't get much of a view from back here though. Hey, look at all these buildings prepared. What are you doing? Jeez, in the passenger seat you have a lovely view. So many buildings. Probably should turn down my my building density a little bit. Wow. Once we get over this city. I'll try to start messing with my easy dock a little bit, get some camera angles set up. All that fun stuff. Oh, looks like we're heading, yeah. Heading kind of right back over the place where we were, that same city. Where we just were. I see the opportunity. I can't pass it up. Don't come across these real, real often, so. Gotta have fun when you do. It's going to be a tight squeeze. Oh, not making that one very well. Woo! Right through that second one. That was terrible. almost dangerous. Not the smartest thing to be trying to do these aerobatics in such low frame rates. Nailed him. I thought Chris was doing the same thing. He's just catching up to me. Looking pretty with the sunset and everything, though. That's looking nice. Boy, chat. Chat as death. There's no more chat to speak of. Oh, you were doing the same thing? Right on. That's what the cool kids are doing.
See if we can get away from the cityscape here. Yeah, you were able to get under one of them. Nice. Yeah, I don't know what time it is in my sim. I don't have a clock in here anywhere is the one thing I'm not seeing. I'm sure it's buried in here somewhere. Gotta have a clock. Probably would be where this angle of attack would be. Need to put a little clock right in there. <laughs> Hello there. This airplane's moving at a little bit more of your speed. Uh, what happened to you, Cody? You said you were going to join us. You said you were going to join us for this last flight, and you chickened out. Chickened out, had all the time in the world to prepare for it. Pizza made you sleepy. Lasagna made Captain sleepy. I'm guessing you guys probably aren't flying with these flights because you don't have the uh, airports. There's nothing real super close by. Still got 111 miles to go. Cody lies. I know. I know. We don't call him Captain Dickweed for nothing. Because it sounds funny. <laughs> Work and stuff. I see how it is. It's Saturday. Probably shouldn't be working on work stuff on a Saturday night when your buddies are live streaming trying to get you to fly with them. Kappa Kappa. <laughs> Cody's got the, uh, what is that called? Uh, boy, that is just escaping me at the moment. Pathological. Path-o-logical was the word I was looking for. See if I get down to 250, since we are under 10,000. ATC would probably appreciate that if we could. Turn the instrument panel lights on. She's getting a little dark. Guess I don't really have any way to remove remove that. I'm curious what this is though. Oh, heat and air. Heat and air conditioning. Nice. Looks like they got it on the heater. Wonder if that just flips automatically over to what it needs for the temperature. Canard? I guess I don't know what a canard is, sorry. My apologies.
Still didn't get below 250. Still working on that. Oh, a little wing in the front, yeah, the catfish. It's kind of similar to the old catfish. If you remember, I used to fly the Piaggio. Ooh, boy, I better get a screeny of that. Skylighting is ridiculous. Try to get something like that. a good one. I did put up a bunch of more screenshots on uh, on my Facebook page. Threw up a bunch of random screenshots I had saved up in my folder just to have something on the page. Little wing. Just a little wing. I doubt that you're having to keep afterburners on to keep up with me there, Chris. He's speeding up. Uh, some really great scenery right through here. How's this thing doing on fuel? Uh, not bad. Burned through about 10%. Yeah, with the lighting and everything, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice around these parts. Hope you're getting a nice sunset as well, Chris. Just hit a patch of heavy or yeah, a patch of heavy snow. Luckily not here. Still free and clear. I'm sure I'll get myself a weather update pretty soon. I have the set for every 15 minutes. to hit me with a little something every 15. Uh, these mountains are really shining, looking good. The, ele the uh, mesh, elevation mesh is really, really doing its job here, it's beautiful. Hope you're getting to see some of the lovely scenery as well, Chris. It's not looking very summery over here. I'll tell you that much.
Alrighty, making the turn. Heading into the hills. Heading in, heading into these these there hills. Oh, that's right, because you're running like 45 layers. I forget. You got that son of a bitch cranked in tight. We're just not making this corner very well. Turn. I'm going to have to slow down through this section. Because there's just some pretty tight turns through here. She's going to struggle with it if I don't slow down. She's not going to make them. Get knocked all off course. Yeah, I forget you're flying with. I still just have the two layers on the measly two. Cloud density set set to like medium in the sim. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. I'm still pretty far off course. Not wicked far, but pretty far. If I could see my GPS, it's just... Is it because I have my panel lights on? It's not making it any brighter or darker. It's just hard for me to see my path. So I think I could drop down. I think I set this so that I could fly lower. I'm going to need to drop down just so I can get out of these clouds. Drop down to 45, Chris. Change density to medium and went down to eight layers. Nice. Yeah, I think less layers and higher density would look fine. A little bit, some less layers with a little bit of higher density. Just add more clouds in. I mean, you don't need so many layers if you can't see them anyway. That's kind of the thing. If they're all covered up by the other layers, it just kind of becomes pointless at that point. Gonna dip down below these clouds and head right down the valley. When eight layers does happen, it'll be epic, yeah. It will. Definitely can't deny that. I think it will be. Oh, 
I'll definitely want to see pictures of it for show. Sixty one miles to go. Usually it's just one layer that's completely full, yeah, like overcast or something. I'm going with medium, a couple layers right now. With your eight layer set, are you still only seeing like two layers or so? Woo, 20 layers is definitely overkill. I don't think even with the strongest computer in the world, like a NASA computer, you don't need 20 layers. Must have generated a lot, yeah. Keep bumping my speed up here a little bit more. Let's see if that radar altimeter is accurate. Yeah, about 2,000 feet above the ground. That's cool. It's nice having an actual radar altimeter gauge. Oh, you just see four to six layers most of the time? I see, I see. Like, are the layers higher up? Is there anything that actually shows up lower down? When you have the layers set higher like that? Does it improve anything lower down, or is it just the upper visibility layers? I've always wondered about that. If it's if a little bit of it would be the down low visibility. Get a picture of that winding river in the background. Reflection coming off the winding river. Pretty cool. Slow her down. We're getting ready to make a sharp turn here. A sharp turn, so gotta be careful. from the ground to the top. So I bet the first two layers are probably ground and then just above that, not very high up, like from ground level to 10,000 feet maybe, 20,000 feet depending on how big it is. Definitely rocking and swaying. these two knot winds. Definitely a cool view. I 
haven't been able to hold 30 frames this whole flight. I'm guessing it's because there's a storm or something building up somewhere. The clouds are gathering steam. Oh, you got the flat layer way up top too. There's my flat layer, spinny clouds. Guess I don't have a cirrus. A cirrus layer at the moment. But I do have clouds that are right about the mountaintops. Below the mountaintops a little bit. They're probably about 7,000 feet or so. Very curious where I thought I was routing this one through. If it's gonna come over here, or if it's gonna go straight up this mountain. Got me a little nervous. Alright, yes, yeah, so we are gonna come over here a little bit. Twelve K up, I am missing those, yeah. This wouldn't serve me a lot of purpose being down here though. They would just be killing frames unnecessarily. But just look at the mountains, like looky 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 is so good. The elevation matches how much detail it pops in there. They actually look like mountains. Not sugar piles. little intimidating to be flying through, that's for sure. I'm glad that we are in a powerful, powerful aircraft. It could get us out of trouble if we if we needed to. Yeah, that light, the light shining on them just looks good, too. Looks like uh, Columbia Pictures or something. Very nice. As I try not to run into this mountainside over here. Pick off any deer or antelope that are on the side of the mountain. Pop, pop, pop. Ooh, that's a pretty looking little heap of heap of something there. Pretty pretty, very pretty. Where are we going now, GPS? We're going to the to the left over here? Alright. Don't guide me, you straight into the mountain, we'll be fine. Yeah, this is like this is like neck snapping scenery, like you just can't look around enough. Very cool. I don't know if you have had a chance to fly over the airport yet, Chris. Does it get a little scouting report on it? See if it's looking brutal. Don't even know right offhand what the altitude is. Let's see.
3700. This has been one of the best flights. I think this is flight of the night, in my opinion, with the scenery and everything. That's not so good when it stretches the textures out a little bit like that, but it's buffering in. Yeah, Tip Top has definitely turned out to be a good one. It's been pretty nice. Very Tip Top on that one. You can even see the stars starting to come out a little bit. Keep an eye on this radar altimeter. Oh, there's the weather. There's that weather. I think that's rain. I can't tell. I have that precipit FX. It's hard to tell sometimes. If you're looking at rain or snow, I think this is rain. came back just in time for some snow, Chris. <laughs> he joined up just in time. Should be a mini series, whatever that means, Cody. This is a, this is the series, the Storm of Games. This is our hop series changing all my scenery from summertime to wintertime on me. I was so close to be able to see what the runway was going to look like in summertime conditions. If I could just get this snow, snow to stop, maybe it'd switch back to the summer. Clip it and YouTube it or something, yeah. Yeah, could. Didn't I didn't play any music or anything through this section, so it could be. Try to highlight it and save it, export it over to YouTube's. Especially when we cartwheel down the runway, that'll be the best part of the video. That'll be the surprise ending for the viewers. The triple Lutz down the runway. Good grief, Chris. I can't imagine how many clouds you have when the weather gets like this. Seems like the clouds always pack in. I'm guessing you're seeing a few clouds over there. <laughs> Aye. Keeping it real. Good looking mountain over there. Any side of the runway yet, Chris? Any side of the runway, good sir. Any scouting of the runway would be much appreciated. It clears up closer destination. Oh, okay, it's just very thick where I am. Good to know, good to know. Whoa. Turbulence is trying to flip me upside down. Yeah, what a sweet way to end the cast. 
definitely a sweet flight. I think I will maybe go back and highlight it. I'm pretty bad at going back and doing anything with my broadcasts. I always forget that there's things that I wanted to clip and highlight and this and that. And before I know it, the VOD is completely gone. They, they wipe it out after like a couple weeks, you know. Oh, clouds picking up again. All right. Now, just to make double sure, I thought it was like 3,700 feet. It's a specialty runway, so it's probably going to be extra difficult to spot. These ones are always a little tougher, the ones that aren't on the map. And these are prime conditions for trying to spot a runway, if you ask me. I mean, what better, what better weather conditions would you want? For coming into an unknown, unknown runway. Termina. Anime. It's alright. You got Captain Vega at the helm. I'm cool, calm, collected as a cucumber. Alright, we're going to start a slow descent now to the vicinity of the, or the elevation to get into our approach altitude. Let me see if I got my lights on. That's going to help. Landing lights on, navigation lights on. Hey, D-Ice, we'll throw you on. I actually felt that take away from my engine power a little bit. Kick that off again. I could have swore I felt the de-ice uh, kill my power a little bit. And the sun is disappearing right behind the uh, horizon. Good timing, sun. And the clouds are kind of right in the way, like we're just having a good, a good old time here. The perfect setup. Oh, it is a pretty long runway? Okay, good, good. Covered in... It's either it's either grass or dirt. I'm not sure. It's definitely not a paved runway. It's scarier than a hundred indie games. Now you see why I like the flight simulator, because you can get yourself into some hairy situations. And it's not like you want to just rage quit. And, like, turn the sim off and just throw it away. Like, I'm not even going to try this. Like, you definitely definitely makes you want to challenge yourself give it a shot okay we're close enough that I think I want to start putting some flaps and all that even though I have no idea what my flap speed or anything is on this I'm guessing that this white line on my speedometer indicates that I could put flaps down there not gonna go more than two notches of flaps uh... I got a little worried like my landing gear jammed or something there that looks like that's my runway oh do 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 that Whoa, she wants to drop like a rock. Keep losing engine power a little bit. Yeah, I did slow way down. A little early, I think. I have a tendency to do that. 
it's something that I've definitely been working on trying to be better at not slowing down quite so early for the approaches so watching a lot of my old VODs I irritate myself with how soon I would slow down even like the jumbo jets and stuff I'd be doing like 150, 100 miles out or something ridiculous like I'd be screaming speed it up there she is Victor Golf Alpha 2 on final oh yeah it doesn't know this airport's here so Boy, it's a little tricky to get that depth perception. Whoa, right over nature's glide slope there. Am I close? I can't even like I can't even see. Like what in the world happened there? That was a crazy was a crazy bumpy like approach. It was weird. I'm rolling right down the runway, Chris, if you could see me. I'll dive bomb off the runway here in a second. 